Now here's, here's something you need to catch. They didn't have a washer. They did not have a washer in the entire warehouse. Um, so um, in both of these wholesale supply yards, I went to a normal hardware store and I started thinking, okay, what's Joe going to do? How am I going to fix this? So I ended up looking for something different. And here is a gasket and washer. Hmm. Maybe I have to, maybe I have to buy a gasket in order to get the washer. Funny thing. Voila. Here's the washer. The $100,000 washer that you need to put in there like that before you put the nut on like that now if you don't have this washer what happens is when you try to tighten this down when you try to tighten this down without the washer you can only get it so tight because now it's rubbing on on this rubber gasket when it gets tight it wants to turn this gasket see how it's puckering right there See how I'm trying to hold on to that and turn it. See that? I'm turning it and it's turning all the rubber and it's not going to let me tighten this any tighter to pull this pipe through the hole. Do you follow me? You see that pipe is connected to this here. And so that is what's in the toilet tank and it's got a new gasket on here. I put that on there but the old gasket was leaking. And so in order to get this tight, I put the new gasket on like that, okay? The small side, tapered side facing down so it fits into the slot. You put that in here, fish it in, and see now you put the, the nut on there. But can you see, I've got to tighten that nut so tight because if I don't get it tight enough, this washer here seats into the tank on the inside. Does that make sense? If I don't have this tight enough, water is going to come around here and it's going to leak out of the tank. And then the tank uh, water fill valve is going to say, oh, somebody flushed the toilet, better put some more water on. Every five minutes, if you hear your toilet going on, this could be the culprit if it's not your, if it's not your, uh, your uh, what you would call it, <laughs> you know, your flapper. Okay, it always could be your flapper first. I'd always check that first, but it could be this. And in this case, it is this. And once it's out of here, I can't tighten that nut up enough. But can you see if I had this here? And I put that in there first. Like that. Then... You know, I mean, I could put that in there like that. Then when I, when I put the nut on and I get it down there, can you see how I'm, as this tightens up, instead of grabbing the rubber gasket and moving it out of position, see this plastic nut is sliding on that washer. That's the only reason why that washer's in there. And it keeps the backing from puckering more and it gives it a solid surface so if I tighten this up now I shouldn't have a problem now should I the only thing is and and that could be good you know and I'm still wondering whether or not this should be the way that I'm gonna fix this I mean I could I could try to tighten that nut and say it's I it's just hard to get this tight um, if I turn it sideways like that because I'm having a hard time grabbing it in here without it coming off, you know? But um, I, might, I might do that and I could, hold it, I could hold it tight here, put a screwdriver in there and crank on that or so. But see when I'm pushing on the sides, that kind of lets the top and bottom pucker just a little bit. So when I get it almost tight enough, it wants to come off of these threads and this is an old riser so I went to the store and ta -da, I got a new riser with um, the threads are all brand new so I'm gonna put that in and incidentally this thing 
this this wasn't that that costly. This was like oh six six dollars, but at most hardware stores they're about ten bucks. About ten dollars for this. And look at that. It even came with the flapper for my six dollars. You buy a flapper all by itself at the store, you're gonna you're gonna pay about four bucks for this. And if you want just a washer at the store, that washer, this rubber gasket right there, it's gonna cost you four dollars or so. There's eight dollars right there. And if you buy this this uh, tree, that's gonna cost you about eight or nine dollars. So you buy all the separate parts and it's gonna cost you more. You buy it all together and you're gonna save some money. So there's a tip for you. Now in this case, I've already uh, replaced the flapper, so I'm gonna keep this flapper for another job. I can do that. And as for the rubber um, gasket, I can I can re I can use this one now. Okay. So I still have to think about what I'm going to do, whether or not I'm gonna I'm gonna do it this way or not. Now here's one thing that concerns me slightly. If I end up using this one, okay, this one was brand new. It was the whole setup. It was just like this one here, but I've taken this tank off twice now because I've had a heck of a time tightening this up. And um, the first time I started tightening up these bolts on the sides before I realized, you know, that's not going to do anything. Those three bolts there are not going to do anything to tighten up this rubber gasket here. You know what I mean? This rubber gasket is only going to be tight with this nut. It has nothing to do with these three bolts. These three bolts only have to do with this rubber gasket here when you get ready to flush your toilet. Does that make sense? This gasket's on the outside of your tank. The water's inside the tank. So the only way the, the water from the tank can come out into the bowl is if this gasket here is leaking with the water seeping through there rather than this one, okay? But I was tightening up these. And I tighten them and tighten them. And incidentally, you don't want to tighten those too tight because if you do, you could have a you could have a chance of cracking this tank or the rim edges of your bowl where the um, where these bolts connect to. Okay? And the interesting thing with this is see it's just a long sleeve and that goes up through here, up to the other side, there's no washer that you put on it, but when you tighten the nut, when you tighten the nut down, you're putting pressure on here. So then it naturally wants to fold out the top and it pushes it like that. And there's your rubber gasket top bit for your bolt. And then your bolt head sticks on there. See, another, another way you can do it Hope I'm not confusing you. Just keep watching. It it's it'll get it'll get um, more understandable the more I go. Okay. I mean, if if I didn't use this whole area, if I wanted to attach this whole tank in with a different configuration than this, like one screw here, one bolt there, one bolt there, I get just individual bolts, and I can put this through like that and that goes inside the tank and then it comes out okay and then I attach that to the bowl so there's different ways to do it okay so that's that's another thing I want you to know is there only one way to do this heavens no there's a couple different ways that's why I got more things to show you here Before I get you all confused, I want to I want to finish the thought that I was on with this here on why I don't I don't know that if I'm going to decide to use this type of system, I might end up putting the brand new one on here because I've tightened this thing so tight that this is mashed down tighter than I would have wanted it and it almost is having a tendency to pull out uh, on one bolt head on the top of the uh, tank is almost touching the the porcelain and so if I do that because I 
taken it off twice. Now I'm going to put it on a third time and do it again. I would just switch it and put this on. Okay, that's that's why I brought this. Um, but I just don't know if I'm going to do that.